Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Lifter LMS private areas to have a one on one conversation with students in your courses and memberships. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure Lifter LMS private areas is installed and activated on my website. I can do that by heading to Lifter LMS add ons and more. And if you haven't seen our video already on the Lifter LMS helper plugin, be sure to check that out, Lifter LMS helper. That's what's going to allow you to put in your license key right here and install plugins directly from this screen without having to download files and upload things. You just enter your license key and can upload from right here. So I already have the helper installed and activated on my website. So I can head down to private areas, install, apply, and then this is going to be installing the plugin in the background for me. And now I'm going to say activate, apply. And that's going to activate. So now we're installed and activated. The next thing I'm going to want to do is head to Lifter LMS settings, integrations, and then Lifter LMS private areas. I'm going to check to enable this integration and save changes. So now if I reload my page here, we should see private posts is now an option on the sidebar for me. And one thing you're going to want to do is go to settings permalinks and then save changes at the bottom. This is just going to flush your permalinks. So if there's any issues with creating a new URL, this is going to create some new forward slash my private post, things like that. Just want to flush your permalinks to make sure the site is up to date with all of the links you have created and you're not going to get 404 errors or anything like that. So now that I've done that, let's head back to lifter LMS settings integrations, private areas again, and check out some of the options we have. So here we can rename uh, the area if you want to call it like instructor feedback or something like that, you can change the names of those things here. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And what I want to do is create a private message to a student. So let's see that in action. If I go to private posts, and then add private post, I'll just say welcome to the course. And I can type out a whole message, include media, anything like that. And the only setting we want to look at on this page is discussion. Do we want to enable discussion or not? That's going to be if the student can comment back to us, we can start like a comment thread with them, uh, kind of like a one on one chat, or you could turn that off if you just want to have an announcement. So the student can't reply, it's just kind of an announcement to them. I'm going to turn discussion on though. And I want to send this to a student in the uh, lifter LMS quick start course. And trial, that's who I'm logged in as right now, I'm going to send it to trial and then publish. So now if I go over, I can see a notification, a new private post is ready for me, I can click to view that private post. Or another way to get there is on the student dashboard, I have this uh, view private area here and I can click on that. And it's going to take me right into this welcome to the course message. And I can read more. And of course, maybe you would have a longer message that would include media and things like that. And as the student, I can uh, talk with the instructor, submit comment, and the student will submit a comment like that. And then the instructor on the back end of the website can see that under private posts. Welcome to the course and they can see this comment thread and comment back and forth that way. There's also some notifications to let the instructor know and the student know when a private post has been published under Lifter LMS settings, notifications. We have private areas, new post. So that would email the student if you wanted to send them an email when there was a new private post created. And then you could email the instructor letting them know that a student responded to them. So those are a few notifications that are added there. Another thing you can do with private areas is create automations. So that would be an automatic message to go out. So maybe if a student passes a specific lesson, you want to send them a private message and say, Hey, great job on this lesson. Uh, so let's add an automation here and see that in action. So I'm just going to say, uh, congrats on completing lesson one. And I'm going to add a private post here. So Great job. Great job on completing lesson one. And I'll just copy the same content here. So this is going to be an instant automation, you can set a delay, but this is just going to be an immediate when they pass the lesson, 
I want to say congratulations. And of course, you can actually create multiple messages that are triggered on an event. So when the student enrolls in a course, you could send them a message immediately, and then you could add another message and wait five days and send them another message if you wanted to get into like more of a sequence like that. For mine, I'm just gonna keep it a little uh, more simple and just have one message attached here. So now that I have my automation created, I'm gonna go to engagements and I'm gonna add a new engagement and I'll have a new engagement type called start private post automation. So let me say uh, completed lesson one on quick start course. And we're gonna say student completes a lesson. And let me actually go find out what that lesson is called on the quick start course. I actually already have a few completed here. Let me actually use um, lesson four here. I'll just, um, for the example here, I, I'll use lesson four since I've already completed lesson one. Uh, so what if I don't use Lifter LMS? So the lesson is what if I don't use Lifter LMS? There we go. I want to start a private post automation and then congrats on completing lesson one, which is now lesson four. I could change that real quick as well. So let me actually automations. Congrats on completing lesson one. Let's change this real quick to lesson four now that we've uh, updated this a little bit. All right, so back over here, this is now gonna be lesson four. Perfect, so I'm going to publish on my engagement here. And now what I can do is go over to lesson four on the quick start course as a student and I'll mark complete. And there we go, a new private post is ready for me. View private post. And we have that, a great job on completing lesson four. So that's kind of how you can use Lifter LMS private areas to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with students and set up some cool automations to kind of get that conversation going. Uh, this has been Will from Lifter LMS. Feel free to let us know if you have any other questions about Lifter LMS in the comments below this video. I'll see you in the next one.